So, we have Classroom Elite Volume 4. It's the longest book in the series, and it's my personal favorite. And I just want to say, this is where we start straying away from the anime, because obviously the anime only adapted about three to four books. They did do adapt a little bit of book 4.5. However, they went out of order. This is book four. So, like I said earlier in other videos, there will not be any anime clips in this, unfortunately. But, hey, we're still going to talk about it. And so, a common misconception is that people think that they changed the female lead in the anime version, which they didn't. Um, Karuzawa, she was never the female lead in the three first books, which was the anime was adapted upon of. It was always Harikta. The only thing that they changed is um, they changed, I believe, two things. One that happens in book 4.5 during the summer um, break. I'm going to spoil a little bit. Uh, Harikta, Karuzawa in the manga, or the my bad, the light novels was the one to stop uh, the boys' lust scheme. And in the anime version, it was Harikta. And the person who was, uh, who busted the three who tried to frame Sudo, it was supposed to be Ichinose instead of Harikta. But other than that, Everything was the same, and in the light novels, we are moving, I believe, in book four, um, and after five, five was more Harikta, and six and on, we're moving more towards where Kabuzawa gets most of the shine, and is the lead female character, or the lead female in the series. And so Kabuzawa, she is the person with the soliloquy, basically talking about her past, uh, nobody liking her, and how cruel life is. She goes around looking at her body in the mirror, and she has a lot of scars. She ends up going over to the sink, throwing up. She's kind of disgusted with herself. And so Enya, Koji, and Hirata, they have lunch. It was originally supposed to be Hirata and Kabuzawa, however, he canceled plans, and Hirata's ulterior motive is that he wants Enya Koji to get him and, well, Hirata and Harikta to be closer together. Uh, Enya Koji says, hey, this stuff will happen over time. And then Karuzawa and her friends come in, kind of interrupts their lunch. So Enya Koji dips out. He meets up with Sakura. And Sakura and him, they start having a conversation. However, Kushida comes in. And, you know, Sakura, she likes only talking to Enya Koji one-on-one -on -one because, one, she's shy, and two, she likes him. Then when she, Kushida came in, she dipped out. And then Enya Koji, he was about to leave. However, he got a notification on his phone that another special test was about to begin. So in their particular room, it was Mashimira Sensei. If you guys don't know who that is, that is Class 1A's homeroom teacher. It was the professor, Yukimura, Enya Koji, and Karuzawa. They are getting debriefed on what will happen with the test. And I'm going to have it on the screen somewhere. Um, but the important people for this test in Enya Koji group include Ibuki, Ichinose, obviously the four from Class D that I mentioned, uh, Manabi, Yabu, and I believe her name is Yamashita. They're all supposed to be working together. But at the same time, they're working together, but not. They're working for their class. But it's just because they're a group thing that they're working together. And so because there's different rules and different outcomes, it's a lot. So I'm going to put it on the screen for you guys to read and pause it yourself. So here are the rules. Here are outcomes one and two. And here are outcomes three and four. And because they're roommates, I believe it consists of Enya Koji, Koenji, Hirata, and Yukimura. Um, the people or the powerhouses, the representatives that are in Hirata's group include Kushida, Harikta, himself, Ruin, um, Katsugiri, Kenzaki. I believe that's everyone or the most notable people in his group. The next day, Enya Koji and Harita, they meet up for breakfast, talking about the, comparing the different groups, and they wonder why Ichinose is part of Enya Koji group, because Ichinose, she is Class B representative. They wonder, well, all the representatives are in one group, why isn't she in there? Um, Enya Koji's like, well, we all know that he bumps his grades down a little bit, but the people in his groups, their grades and work ethic, etc., are very similar. Uh, Karuzawa, they said her grades are similar to Enya Koji, so they're questioning why, and then Ruin comes in, and he talks about the island test and how he was beaten. And he knows that it's not Harikta. He knows that there's somebody pulling the strings. Um, he questions Koenji, uh, or top of his list, Harata, and especially Enya Koji because he's always hanging around Harikta. And so in order to figure out who the VIP is, each you know, say in your Koji group, they decide to have discussions. However, people in class A, they are not participating in the discussion because this is Katsugiri's orders. So each you know, say she's like, okay, well, you guys can do what I want. I I'll figure it out eventually. And then later we talk about with 
um, Karazawa and Manabe, they get into it about this girl, her name is Rikta, it is speculated that Karazawa bullied Rikta in the lunch line or something like that, and then Manabe, she just wants her to apologize, they're going back and forth, and this is where Karazawa, she gets in a little bit of trouble. Later that night, they have a conversation, it's Harata, um, Koenji, and all the roommates, and basically, Harata, he tells any of Koji and everybody that Kushida is indeed the VIP of his group, and they go back and forth, and Koenji, he's like, alright, I don't got time for this, this is boring, and so he goes on his phone, um, he writes out who the VIP is, and their uh, test for the rooster group, it ends, and this is actually really important to the story. Being late at night and can't sleep, and Koji goes out to the deck, and this is where he runs into Kushida. Kushida says she is lonely, and as Koji is about to leave, she rushes over to him and gives him a hug. He goes deep into his chest, putting her face in it and hugging him tightly, and it, as he tries to move away, she holds him even tighter, which I always find this confusing because she says that he's boring and she doesn't like him. However, she goes and does stuff like this and always questions him or has questions for him saying like, almost as if like hey do you like me or would you like me and so it's weird and even in the story as Kushida did all that and ran away and Koji said it was dark but he thinks and he thought he saw her blushing which I'm like okay well does she like him or does she not like him and then later as Enya Koji is heading back to his room he overhears Chabishira and I believe it's Hoshi Maya sensei the um, class B's homeroom teacher, and so they're talking about Ichinose and Yokoji. Basically, Tabishira is like, Well, Ichinose, why is she in that group? Basically, um, Class B's homeroom teacher says she wants to give her a challenge, but um, she also talked about, Hey, I noticed that Enya Koji, he did something on the uh, he took more of initiative, more of a lead during the island test, and you didn't seem that surprised. What are you hiding? So basically, Ichinose was only put in Enya Koji's. I believe they are the rabbit group put in his group in order to spy on him no, trying to see what abilities lay dormant within him. So in order to advance discussions, um, they are playing cards, trying to break the ice, nobody's still moving or anything. And then afterwards, Enya Koji Ishinose, they want to go meet up with Ruin and Harikta's group. Um, and I find it funny, Ruin, he says something like, oh, Enya Koji, I'm a little jealous. You're up here chasing skirts, meaning he's seen him with Kushida, seen him with Sakura, and uh, Harikta, and um, Ichinose saying that Enya Koji, he's fast, if you guys catch what I'm trying to say. And so Ruin, he proposes something to... Um, Ichinose saying, hey, let's form an alliance. And she's like, nah, I ain't, I ain't doing that ruin. You ain't about to finesse me. And she ends up not going with the alliance. And she ends up keeping the alliance that she has with class B and D. And Karuzawa and Manabe, they're going at it once again. They've been doing this multiple days. And honestly, throughout the entire story in this particular book, but Karuzawa, she's going back to her room. Manabe and her friends follow her, and they bully her on the stairs, saying, doing the same stuff that they did to Rikta. However, uh, Yakimura and, or Yukimura and Enya Koji, they go and step in saving Karuzawa. Enya Koji later that night goes and meets Chabishira Sensei where he asks a hypothetical question about what he can use his points for. We all know Enya Koji is the middle of the book. He's scheming up something. My boy scheming Enya Koji. And as he returns, um, her, he meets up with Hirata. And Hirata's like, did I wake you? Or, well, actually, he goes in the room and then Hirata comes in and Enya Koji turns. And so him and Hirata have a conversation. And this is where we learn a little bit more about Karuzawa and Hirata. Hirata, he's an ally for everyone. And so he's not going to hurt anybody just because Karuzawa asked him to. And this is where we find out that Karuzawa and Hirata's, their relationship is a lie and a fake. Because the only reason why they're in the relationship to begin with is so that Karuzawa can be protected. And that she won't be bullied because obviously she wouldn't be bullied if she's dating one of the most popular people in the school. I believe in the Hakai rankings, like I said, I know Enya Koji's number five. I believe Hirata's either number two or three. I'm pretty sure something like that so obviously if she's dating one of the most popular guys she would not get bullied and so Hirata he starts noticing that Enya Koji is more capable than he's leading on they have a conversation and you find out the reason why Hirata likes to be everybody's ally is because when he was back in either elementary school or middle school before he came to the school that he's at now 
one of his friends that they were in elementary school, as they got older, they became distant. He stopped being friends with him. He would notice that he's getting bullied. But however, Hirata wouldn't step in. And then eventually his friend gave uh, and committed suicide and Hirata felt guilty. So he vowed never again would he stand on the sidelines when he can be somebody's ally. Sakura was a part of the cow group. The next day, her group had ended. Um, I believe she wasn't the VIP, but their group, they didn't do well. I believe somebody turned traitor and ended up causing class D some points. And Skimi Koji, he convinces Hirata to set up a meeting place with Hirata and Karuzawa. And instead of it being Hirata going there, he used an anonymous email to tell Manabi and her friends to get their revenge in the lower deck because no cameras or anyone would be there. And so Karuzawa, she goes expecting Hirata. However, she ends up meeting Manabi, Rikta, and two others. They end up pulling her hair, slapping her, kicking her in the stomach, and beating up on Karuzawa, really bullying her. And then Yokoji's in the background. Nobody can see him, but uh, he's taking pictures and recording stuff on his phone. And then after Karuzawa is bullied, they had enough. They, Manabi and her friends, they had to leave it, and Yokoji steps in. And Yokoji, he steps in, he helps her up, and then he starts getting serious, talk about, hey, how he'll expose her, bring her past, and Karuzawa gets upset, and Yokoji, he pins her to the wall. Um, it gets a little bit dark. Does he have evil and malicious intent, like pedophile intent? No, but he touches her stomach, her arms, her neck, and uh, caresses her legs and thighs. And so he tells her, he jiggle, and this is kind of funny, it's wrong, it's, I laugh, because he's only doing this to see how far she's willing to go to protect herself. But he jiggles his belt buckle and he tells her to spread her legs, and she does. So this shows that she's willing to do anything and everything to protect her status so she wouldn't get bullied again. And so Enya Koji, he looks her in the eyes saying, you're hot, still hiding something else. She looks to her right, and then Enya Koji lifts up her shirt, and he noticed a nasty scar, meaning that she had, I don't know if it's glass or like a knife or something, but she had been stabbed and cut. And so Enya Koji, he's like, all right, you have been through a lot, and I know th how far you're willing to go, uh, and I can trust you. He said, if you, instead of being with Harata and trusting him the most, trust me, I'll be your ally. I will always protect you. So basically what Enya Koji's trying to do is to trying to make Karazawa, uh, the parasite sticking to Hirata instead of sticking to Hirata going to Enya Koji because he knows her status and she's not the smartest but however she has social clout she's very popular amongst the girls in the class and instead of Harita she can use Karazawa more to get more respect and get things done quicker and so Enya Koji he divides the plan with her and Yuki Mura the final day and so what happens is with the school emails you cannot tamper with them so if you look at the emails that is who they email you saying, are you the VIP or not? So if you tamper with them, it goes against the rules and you forfeit the test automatically. So anything that the school sent regarding to the test is legit. And so what the strategy Ichinose goes on the final day, she says, hey, everybody pull out your phones and show us the email. And if you don't, then we'll assume that you're the VIP. And so Yukimura, he is the one who was the VIP. However, Ichinose, well, he called, somebody calls Yukimura's phone and it dropped face up the caller ID with Ichinose, and we know Ichinose has Enya Koji's caller information. And so she goes and says, hey, you guys just switch phones. And so they change passwords, phone numbers, etc. And so the true VIP is Enya Koji. But in actuality, after everybody left, uh, Ichinose stops Enya Koji and says um, that basically what Enya Koji did, he, she's caught on to what he did because he did switch phones. However, he also switched sim cards because he unlocked it with points which is why he met up with choppy share sensei to understand what he could do with the points he unlocked his sim cards um he put karuzara's sim card in his phone and changed numbers so that if somebody were to call it would pop up on his phone that, that he traded sim cards with so basically he has, still has his phone but he has a different sim card in his phone but he changed all his numbers, emails, etc. And then he actually physically switched phones with Yuki Mora so that it could be more confusing. But Ichinose still caught on. But before she was about to um, send a message turning traitor saying that Karuzawa was the one who was the VIP, somebody else turned traitor and said that Anya Koji 
was the proper trader and so class either it was either from class a or class c we don't know and they ended up losing points so any koji asked ishino say well what would you have submitted the message and she was like nah she didn't know her goal was to get either class a or c to lose points and they remain the same because she didn't want to risk anything for her class so in the end class a they lost the most class c gained the most and class b and d they they remain around the same. I don't think Class B gained any points. They didn't lose any. And Class B only gained 50 points. Um, Koenji, the reason why, and I mentioned this earlier, Koenji, he went in and just typed in the message of who the VIP is and moved on. Koenji doing that actually helped Class D gain more points than what they would if they wouldn't have gained anything. And so Kushida was found out by Ruin who uh, that she was a VIP and Harikta was a little surprised because throughout the entire story Ruin was all like he already knew who the VIP was and Harikta doubted him however he found out and so this is where they start speculating there is a traitor within the class. But that does it for Classroom Elite Volume 4. Like I said, this is personally my favorite book because I got to see Ichinose and Karuzawa a lot. They are two of my favorite characters in the series, aside from Enya Koji. And so we got to see Sakura as well, love her as well. Harikta, we didn't see her as much. I like her, but not as much as the others. So it was pretty interesting. But let me know your guys' thoughts about the book. Like I said, book four. I really enjoyed it, but thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you guys never miss out on a new video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. It's on the screen in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to unleash your potential.